Hello friends. We have already discussed act number one and two of the drama Abhijnan Shakuntala. Now let us discuss about act three and act four in this lecture. So we saw that act two ends with the dialogue between Dushyanta and his friend Vidushaka, and ultimately when there is a message sent to the king from the capital that he has to return for some ritual king sends his friend vidushaka to his home to perform the ritual instead of himself so we had stopped there and that is how king finds an excuse to remain in the ashram for a longer time in act number 3 this love sickness between both of them continues and then they unite and now in this act the secret marriage between dushanta and shakuntala takes place both of them confess their feelings for each other in front of each other so this is what we see in this particular act so in this act 3 the pursuit of dushanta to find shakuntala continues he longs to meet her and see her constantly even it is the same kind of response from her side she is also love struck and she does not feel well and her friends tell that it is because of love sickness which is troubling her and they advise her to uh, express the feelings in front of the king now the in what way will she express her feelings to the friends uh, to dushanta her friends anusuya and priyamvada suggest that she should write a poem love poem and thereby tell her feelings convey her feelings to king dushanta so they are all these three friends talking to each other in the garden and king silently is spying on them in the garden he is also remaining in the same garden so that he can be near shakuntala and he can know her feelings truly and when he is observing their talks he is listening to their talks and when he comes to know that shakuntala also loves him equally he comes out of his hiding place and comes in front of shakuntala which surprises her a lot and then the union of these lovers take place both of them confess their feelings of love towards each other and then her friends leave shakuntala alone in the company of dushanta so they can talk and have some uh, romantic moments together so this is the important scene of the whole drama because here the lovers are united and they both express their feelings to each other and here there is one important thing that is happening the marriage between dushanta and shakuntala takes place they both marry secretly in gandharva vivaha custom without involving the elders of the family but this marriage episode is never mentioned in the drama there is nobody or there no dialogue which tells that they are married now or they are getting married but it is understood it is implied and we have to understand one thing here that the whole story of the drama actually it consists of many days many days and many months and this has been shorted into drama so only most important episodes are taken and some important episodes are taken for granted or they are implied on their own so shakuntala and dushanta are now married shakuntala was a little afraid because she did not know uh, how her father kanva will react to this fact of her marriage on and that is why she was troubled a little further when they are spending some time with each other gautami a senior female ascetic from the ashram comes and asks shakuntala to come back to the ashram to perform some of her important duties and there the lovers have to separate for some time so shakuntala has to take leave of dushanta now and even dushanta has got 
his duties in the capital to attend so both of them have confessed their feelings have married secretly have fallen in love and now it is time to separate because there is another important thing in life that is calling them and that is their duty what is shakuntala's duty in the absence of kanvarshi being his foster child being his foster daughter she has to take care of the uh, works in the ashram and she has more responsibilities in his absence if some guests come she has to uh, take care or uh, ho- take uh, give some hospitable treatment to the guests and on the other side dushyanta's duty does not end there in the garden because he has more responsibilities to take over in his capital city so this call of duty separates these lovers for an indefinite period so both of them are reluctant to go but they have to go so the pain of separation even though it, it is for some time but this pain is felt by both dushyanta and shakuntala both are not ready to leave each other's company and this is what we see in act number 3 which is filled with love sickness union of lovers and then separation for indefinite time due to the call of duty so here in this act we can see the constant struggle between love and duty or dharma and kama on one side there is dharma which they have to do no matter what comes in their way and on the other side it is this kama or this desire of being with each other is also pulling them away from the duty but ultimately they have their duties to perform and that is how they separate for the time being so this act is important so it leads to it leads uh, it comes near to the climax climax and the further situations of difficulty in act number 4 and 5 which are to continue from here now we will come to act number 4 uh, before that most important characters in act 3 are none other than shakuntala and dushyanta themselves and then we also find anusuya and priyamvada the friends of shakuntala who are telling her different ways to approach the king and ultimately gautami also is an important character who reminds shakuntala of her duties in the ashram now let us come to act number 4 and understand what is happening in act number 4 there is an important uh, quotation here this quotation is about the importance of this particular act in this drama kavyeshu natakam ramyam tatrapi cha shakuntala tatrapi cha chaturtho ankaha tatra shlokas chatushtayam meaning kavyeshu natakam ramyam in sanskrit aesthetics in sanskrit uh, tradition nataka or drama is considered as a form of poet so he what this shloka says in the in all the different forms of poetry nataka or drama is the most beautiful one it is the most entertain entertaining one tatra picha shakuntala in all those dramas even this play is considered as the greatest in this play shakuntala or abhidhyana shakuntala tatrapi cha chaturtho anka act number 4 is very important and in act number 4 tatra shloka chatushtayam the fourth shloka is important in what in what aspects it is important so this act is more about responsibilities in one's life so what is happening in act number 4 if we fail to perform our certain duty that is assigned to us we may end up in getting some trouble so that is what is the message of this act in this act now <clears throat> already they have been separated from each other the king has gone to hastinapur and he has promised that he will come back to take shakuntala back to his kingdom but a long time has passed and dushyanta has not come back 
to take Shakuntala to his court. Now Shakuntala is in tension, she is in grief, she is lovesick, she is all the time thinking of Dushyanta and Priyamvada, Anasuya are in the company of Shakuntala. They are trying to give her hope. They are trying to tell her that Dushyanta will come someday to take her back to the kingdom. But Shakuntala is lovesick and she has lost the charm on her face. She is all the time longing for Dushyanta. She is thinking of him and she is almost oblivious of her duties in the ashram. Karnavarushi has not yet arrived and Shakuntala is lost in the thoughts of Dushyanta. Now in this time what happens is the Rishi known for his anger Durvasa comes and uh, he asks for Kanvarshi, he is not there. Then it was actually the responsibility of Shakuntala to treat him with hospitality. But unfortunately, she is lost in the thoughts of Dushyanta. So she fails to treat Dur Durvasa properly. She is not even aware that Durvasa came and went. But the other characters, her friends, Anusuya and Priyamrada, have seen Durvasa coming to the ashram and going back in anger. She has also heard that Durvasa has given curse to Shakuntala saying that the king or the person about whom she is thinking forgetting all her duties will forget her. Priyamvada who is worried about the fate of Shakuntala begs pardon for Shakuntala's mistake but Durvasa says curse once told will cannot be taken back but there can be a solution to this problem. So he says if, the, if Shakuntala gives some sign of love which was given to her by the king, the king may remember Shakuntala. So this is a kind of solution to the problem which was caused by the curse. But until then, Dushyanta would forget totally about Shakuntala. So this was the curse given by Dushyanta, sorry, Durvasa to Shakuntala and she was unaware of it. In the original story, this is not there. In the original story, she is aware that Durvasa has cursed her. But here, she is not yet aware of this curse. Why, why has Kalidasa made this twist? It may be to show the intensity of love. She was so intensely in love with Tushyata that she forgot everything around her and all the time she was thinking about him. In fact, in the original story, it is not like that. She has seen Durvasa come, but she has she was in some other mood, but she could not, and that is why she could not treat him properly. And she hears Durvasa giving her a curse and she goes and begs pardon to Durvasa. But in the drama, it is shown that Priyamvada begs pardon for on behalf of Shakuntala and Shakuntala is totally oblivious of all these things. So her obliviousness shows how intense was this feeling of love, how, how much lovesick was Shakuntala in the thoughts of Dushyanta. So to give more intensity to the uh, romance, we have this mood called Shungara Rasa, which is the emotion of love or romance. In Shrungara Rasa, there is one type called Viraha. Uh, the separation which has been the cause of grief is so intense that she has forgotten everything about uh, the hospitality to be given to the guests. So to show this Viraha Shrungara, he has added this episode wherein she is totally shown as a completely obvious, uh, oblivious girl. Now, so after this episode is over, in between, we also come to know that Shakuntala is pregnant with Dushyanta's child and in the meantime, Kanva comes to the ashram after several days and Kanva, when he comes back, he knows all these situations he comes to know all these situations with his divine powers which are given to him as a gift by God because of his 
tenants he has some supernatural powers to know what has happened so the moment he comes to the ashram he comes to know everything about the secret marriage between dushanta and shakuntala and shakuntala was a little uh, doubtful of the reaction of kanva but kanva in fact he is very happy that shakuntala has married a noble man like dushanta and he feels extremely elated now it is in the dialogues between kanva and his foster daughter shakuntala that we come across this fourth uh, fourth shloka which is which i mentioned in the quotation few minutes back so there are beautiful dialogues between kanva uh, shakuntala and some other senior ascetic like gautami so what are they telling her so they are giving her advice about the duties and responsibilities of a housewife how she has to behave in the kingdom how she has to behave as a queen to the king dushanta how she will be called as an ideal woman so all these principles and responsibilities all uh, are advised by uh, advised by kanva and gautami to shakuntala before she goes to meet her husband king so these are told to shakuntala in this fourth shloka that is why this act is important because it gives a message about human life it gives a message of how we should conduct ourselves it is a message about responsibilities in one's life that is why this act is considered as very important act in the play so kanva is now ready to send away his daughter shakuntala back to her husband to whom she now belongs and all the sages in the hermitage are arranging for her departure and there are a lot of beautiful scenes emotional scenes in between the dialogues sorry um emotional scenes which are described through the dialogues of priyamvada anasuya and shakuntala the 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 moment when she is about to leave the ashram how she is feeling feeling the pain of leaving her native place to go to husband's place so which is a common pain to all the girls who go to husband's house after marriage so those emotions are described very beautifully through the dialogues of shakuntala how she is attached to all these things and how she has to now go to her own house to be an ideal wife to her husband and then there are also beautiful descriptions once again of the nature the garden and here shakuntala feels extremely painful to leave this garden which she loved at most and all the animals she had taken care of all the trees she had tended to all of these things come to her memory and she cries a lot before going to the uh, kingdom of dushanta to meet her husband and a group of sages is called for in order to help shakuntala reach king's place kanva orders for her safe departure and she has to travel uh, to the to this capital of dushanta and she has to travel in a boat so there are a lot of assistants and com- companions to shakuntala when she is on her journey to her husband's place even the emotions of kanvarshi while seeing of his daughter are explained very beautifully by kalidasa in this act so in this act we see a lot of depth about human emotions human relations the relationship between father and his daughter the relationship between friends the relationship between a, a young girl like shakuntala and the garden which was not just a simple garden for her but which was a pure emotion of love and romance for her throughout her life she had loved all those animals she had loved all those trees which she had grown uh, with a lot of efforts so all these emotions are combined in this act that is why this becomes the most beautiful and most important act of the play avidnyana shakuntala so in this act we see that the action is moving to the peak 
although the story is not moving to the peak here, but the action, the level of human emotions that are presented here reach to the maximum level, this being the central act of the drama. So that is about that is all about the things that are happening in act number four. In the next lecture, we will discuss in depth about act number five, its plot and the other aspects. Thank you so much.